You can hear it. Some of you saw it. They got back here, half of them. Still enough to surround us 20 deep. I know you're scared. You haven't seen anything like this. You haven't been through anything like this. But we're safe for now. The panel of the truck hit seems intact. We reinforced it just in case. Either way, the wall's going to hold together. Can you? The others, they're going to be back. Daryl, Abraham, Sasha, they have vehicles. They're going to lead them away just like the others. And Glenn and Nicholas are going to walk back through the front gate after. They know what they're doing. And we know what we need to do. We keep noise to a minimum. Pull our blinds at night. Even better, keep the lights out. We try to make this place as quiet as a graveyard and see if they move on. Find gas and some supplies. We'll keep pushing on. But we stay together. God forbid something happens and people get stranded without a car. I know it looks bad. We've all been through hell and worse, but at least we found each other. I wasn't sure. I, I really wasn't, but we did. We're together. We keep it that way. We'll find shelter somewhere. There's got to be a place. There's got to be a place. Not, not just where we hold up, but we fortify. Hunker down, pull ourselves together, build a life for each other. I know it, it's out there. We just have to find it. How? No one is going anywhere. I am doing something. I'm keeping this group together, alive. I've been doing that all along, no matter what. I didn't ask for this. I killed my best friend for you people for Christ's sake. You saw what he was like, how he pushed me, how he compromised us, how he threatened us. He staged the whole Randall thing, led me out to put a bullet in my back. He gave me no choice. He was my friend, but he came after me. My hands are clean. Maybe you people are better off without me. Go ahead. I say there's a place for us, but maybe maybe it's just another pipe dream. Maybe, maybe I'm fooling myself again. Well, wh why, don't you, why don't you go and find out yourself? Send me a postcard. Go on, there's the door. You can do better. Let's see how far you get. No takers? Fine. But get one thing straight. You're staying. This isn't a democracy anymore. He said that was grown-up stuff. So I asked if the Germans ever tried to kill Ham. But he got real quiet. He said he was dead the minute he stepped into enemy territory. Every day he woke up, told himself, rest in peace, now get up and go to war. And then after a few years of pretending he was dead, he made it out alive. And that's the trick of it, I think. We do what we need to do, and then we get to live. But no matter what we find in D.C., I know we'll be okay. Because this is how we survive. We tell ourselves that we are the walking dead. I didn't bring it in. It got inside on its own. They always will. The dead and the living. Because we're in here. And the ones out there, they'll hunt us. They'll find us. They'll try to use us. And they'll try to kill us. We'll survive. I'll show you how. You know, I was thinking, I was thinking, how many of you do I have to kill to save your lives? But I'm not gonna do that. You're gonna change. I'm not sorry for what I said last night. I'm sorry for not saying it sooner. You're not ready, but you have to be. Right now, you have to be. Luck runs out. You, you, in, in the ponytail, is this what you want? Is this what any of you want? Look, I fought him before. And after we took in his old friends, they've become leaders in what we have here. Now you put down your weapons, walk through those gates. You're one of us. We let go of all of it. And nobody dies. Everyone who's made it this far, we've all done the worst kinds of things just to stay alive. But we can still come back. We're not too far gone. We get to come back. I know we all can change. Dead. He wrote letters. He wrote one to you. He asked you to stop. But it's too late for that. Even if we wanted a deal now, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna kill you. What? How did he die? Was it us? Was it the grenades? The fire. It wasn't you. Carl went out to help someone. And he got bit. God damn it. Shit, I, um... I am sorry. 
You know, I wanted him to be part of things. I had plans. He, that kid, that kid was the future. The only future is one where you're dead. What the hell are you doing, Rick? Why are you fighting? Why are you making this so hard? Carl is dead because of you. Because you couldn't leave shit well enough alone. I mean, hell, maybe he would have died some other way. Any one of us can get our ticket punched at any second. But in this case, in this case, he is dead because of you. Because you weren't there to stop him from doing something stupid. You set this course, Rick. Who's next? You are. No, but someone is. You're going to kill me, but you won't. It's not on you, Daryl. Hey, it's not on you. Being back with us here, now, it's everything. You're my brother. This place, it's beautiful. I'm so sorry for what happened to you. To Beth and Glenn. For everything Maggie's lost. Maybe if I tried harder, done things different, listened more. I, I need to find my family. I need to keep them together. For Carl, it hasn't been easy. We've been trying. But we'll get there, all of us. I'm tired. Herschel, my family. Maybe I can find them here. I know you. Gee, I used to be a cop. And every Saturday night, I'd pick up some dipshit like you and have to listen to him run his mouth in the back of my car. Every one of them trying to blame someone else for their own damn problems. Wrong! You're gonna stand there and listen to every word. Nah, I gave you the benefit of the doubt. That is done. Now, you pack your shit and get out of here first thing in the morning. If I see your face again, stitches won't fix what I do to you. You sound just like my damn father. <laughs> always, always yelling about the power bill, telling me to turn off the damn lights. Mm, what do you say to that? I know what I want to say. I want to say, bitch, you mean to tell me you've been hearing this your entire life. You are still too damn stupid to learn how to turn off a switch. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I don't want to actually say that, though. You know? That would be bad. Right, right. Yeah, I go with the uh, go with the polite version there, too. Very so. wise. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, she's good. She's good at turning off lights. Right. Really good. Mm -hmm. I don't know when he sometimes forgets. What I meant, we didn't have a great night. Hey, look, man, I may have uh, failed to amuse with my sermon, but I did try. That's that's what she always says. <laughs> Speak. I think I was the most closed mouth son of a bitch ever to hear her tell it. I'm looking for my family. Oh, is that what you're doing? She hasn't got you know. <laughs> Good thing she ain't got my ears, man. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you're, you're such an asshole. Yes, no, I am. Yes, I am. I am the asshole. Mm. Same as you, really. Well, you think I'm an asshole? Man, I don't think a thing, man. I know you're an asshole. I like to take credit for that, actually, Rick, when I think about it. I mean, I'm sure others did influence you, but I'd like to take full credit. I didn't want it, you know that. It had to be me. Still has to be me. Yeah, I see, Rick. Yeah, I think that's where you're wrong. Buddy. Mm -hmm. It's time. Kneel down. Dig deep. Find it, Rick. The rage, the hatred. Find it. The loyalty is in there. Find it. It's in there, Rick. You can do it, brother. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what I did to you. You need to forget that shit. You know something, Rick? Let him go. <laughs> He's mine. I'm gonna kill you. Not today, not tomorrow. <laughs>